A group of Macon seniors received a special gift today. 41 NBC's Cameron Branscombe has more on the Queen Agers. I'm here with the lovely Al Tillman's Queen Agers as they enjoy a well-deserved day of pampering. Their day started with pedicures at Central Georgia Technical College and now ends with a lunch here at Mother's Barbecue and Breakfast. After losing his mother last year, Macon Big District Non-Commissioner Al Tillman wanted to make sure that the elderly community is taken care of. Commissioner Tillman and the Unity and Community Group do many events with seniors, but he says this event was brought to him. And so one of the seniors said, you know, y'all never ask us what we want to do. And so she said, you know, we like to get our pedicures. A lot of our ladies can't uh, cut our own toenails and can't wash our feet. And so um, that's what we decided to do today. That is Alice Bailey. Miss Bailey is a lifelong resident of Macon. She says having a day of self-care is always wanted things we need. You can't expect them to know everything. And one of the things I think we need is sometimes a little pampering, a little concern, something that has to do with our personal health and our personal being. I think that what he did with this is just fantastic. The Queen Adria Spa Day didn't just help the seniors, it also helps students at Central Georgia Technical College practice working in a live setting. And in that class, it, it helps with their task sheets as well and, and things that they're working on in the course. Gives them the experience, but most of all, it gives them the, the um, experience to work with the public and our, their speaking skills, their confidence, and um, it's just part of what we do out here. After the nails were painted, it was on to Mother's Barbecue and Breakfast, where the Queen Ages were treated with lunch and gifts. Ms. Bailey was appreciative of Commissioner Tillman's efforts and hopes city officials will offer more things like this to the community. And that's the kind of thing I think we need to expect our elected officials to do, to bring the resources together to provide for the community. And this is, this is an, a great example of, of, of having done that. In Macon, Cameron Branscombe, 41 NBC News. Now, if you or someone you know would like to be a part of the next Queen Agers Day, you can call Unity in the Community, and that number is 478-345-0744.